There's a lot you can do with the PowerShell without having to do any scripting. But when I took my class in PowerShell, we started scripting almost from day one. And I know a lot of colleges still do that. So we might as well make PowerShell ready for scripting. I've uh, made a little script which I've uh, placed in my documents folder. All it does is get the processes. Nothing fancy, just uh, proving a point. Let's check it out. C colon slash users go to documents and our script test script dot ps1 it says here test script dot ps1 cannot be loaded because running scripts is disabled on the system restricted is the default execution policy and scripts just don't run that's what we're going to change now this is when you want to use the help system sorry but I need you to start uh, using it so help set execution policy detailed it says here restricted does not load configuration files or run scripts restricted is the default execution policy what you want here is remote signed requires that all scripts and configuration files downloaded from the internet be signed by a trusted publisher in our case you can make your own scripts and run them on your local computer so how do we do this let's uh, check the examples example one this command sets the user preference for the shell execution policy to remote signed set execution policy remote signed okay we are going to learn a new commandlet here get execution policy and that retrieves what execution policy we have now which is restricted set execution policy this shows what do we want we want remote signed it asks you if you really want this yes you do back to uh, get execution policy we now have remote signed that's actually all there's to it now let's try our uh, script again c colon slash users go to documents and test script dot ps1 and it runs okay that's it for now and good luck